This is the Ultra Tab C. It's an e-ink tablet with a pen and a keyboard that runs Android 11 in color. And I bought it simply to help me do less. On this channel, I like to talk about the techniques I use to stay more productive, the tools I use to do that, or you know, just some cool gear or thing that excites me. Today, that's the book's Ultra Tab C, which I bought with the sole purpose of helping me to focus more and to escape from traditional backlit LED screens. Hi there, I'm Kelly. I'm a full-time software developer at Rescue Time, volunteer at Sigma University, and father of six. Being able to focus is really one of the superpowers of modern productivity, and I am not the best at it. I, I'm actively trying to become better, but I thought, hey, you know, e-ink devices are quite limited. M maybe I'll pick up one of these and see if it can help me focus. And so with that in mind, I had really three large use cases for this. The first of those was, well, you know, a reader. I mean, that is what e-ink devices are best at, you know? But why not just use the Kindle, which I have and love? Well, because there are two forms of reading that don't work on the Kindle. The first of those are web articles. I use a service and app called Readwise Reader that allows me to save articles from the web to read later. Now, while I can't read those on the Kindle, I can read those on any Android devices. And as this runs full Android 11, I could install the Readwise Reader app on here via the Google Play Store and, you know, read everything right on the ink display. Now, of course, I want the benefit of an ink display of, you know, less fatigue in the eyes and all that stuff, but also, I wanted a bit more limited experience so that when I sit down to read through my articles, I wouldn't be disrupted by email or Twitter or, you know, anything like that. Instead, you know, I wanted a limited device where I couldn't really do anything else. If I chose to sit at Readwise Reader, I wanted a bit of, you know, guide rails to keep me on that track. The second purpose is also reading, but this time for entertainment, and that is manga or comics. Now, almost every night I read before bed, and some nights I like to read manga. Now, the best way for me to do this is usually on my iPad mini. But once again, there's the possibility that I'll get sidetracked and pulled onto the web and, you know, not end up seeing their reading. And as this is a time of relaxation, that's not as big of a deal and doesn't really happen as much as I'm entertained by the manga. The bigger deal, though, is for the hour or two before bed, I like to try to stay away from those backlit screens. And, you know, the iPad mini, huh, that has a backlit screen. And so I want to try reading manga and other comics on an ink screen. And as some of the manga that I read doesn't come from the Kindle app, you know, I, I need something that I can install any app from the Google Play Store. The fact that this is a color is just an extra benefit for that. Now, most of the manga I read is black and white, but you know, occasionally there's that color graphic and I'd want to see it full color. Now, for both of these, I knew going into it that I would prefer a device closer to the iPad mini in size. You know, that seven inch size seems to be the real sweet spot for me for reading. I was willing to ignore that though and get the larger 10 inch device because of this last use case, which was by far the most important. And that was that I want to use Tana on the web browser in here. And I just couldn't picture using Tana on anything less than a 10 inch screen. Tana is a new note-taking and, you know, just everything app that I use for, well, pretty much everything. All of my productivity, all my system, all my notes, all my thoughts is in Tana nowadays. And I really wanted a device that I could just pick up, go to the local coffee shop, and really sit down and focus and work with it. So why this? Why did I want an ink display for Tana? Why not just use my iPad or a MacBook? Well, because once again, I want that enforced constraint. I want to be able to really open up Tana and not be tempted to go anywhere else, to really sit through and work out my thoughts. Now, I'll give you a bit of a spoiler. This isn't going to work out for me. With all that said, let's jump over to a demo of the Ultra Tab C and, you know, see how all this works in practice. As you can see, there is in fact a color display that, you know, looks pretty decent. Now the Ultra Tab C is asleep, so I just have to press the side button to wake it up. But while that's happening, you can see that there is in fact a color screen. Now all these here are the apps that are installed by default, but I didn't really care about those. So let's just jump right over to the things that I actually wanted to try out in practice. The first, of course, as I said, was Readwise Reader. Now I was really hoping that I'd be able to take this on the couch in the evening and read through some articles that I had saved in Readwise Reader, while at the same time avoiding you know, my laptop or my iPad so I don't have that you know backlit screen and I could be a little bit more focused and relaxed in the evening versus you know staying on a purely you know modern digital device. I could be more focused. That was the whole point of the Ultra Tab C in my opinion. Now the Ultra Tab C is pretty cool because as you can see here you have some real pretty decent color graphics. They are muted and it's a bit grainy, but you know it works pretty pretty well and what i found in practice is that you know everything i could want in readwise reader works perfectly fine sure highlights and stuff like that are a bit of a pain 
um, as they're you know a bit harder to see on the screen. I'm not even sure if you can see that. Oh, there you go. You got a little underline there, but it really doesn't really pop in the same way that it does on an iOS device. But hey, it works. And look at that. We've got an animated GIF that's just working here in real time. It looks really cool and it works really, really well. The main limitation I found with this is that I just don't really like the size. I find that 10.8 inch size just to be, you know, an uncomfortable reading experience. I want something closer to the iPad mini or even my Kindle size. So something, you know, around the six or seven inch size. Now that was something I expected going into this, but I was just hoping that the ton of experience on this device would more than make up for it. Next up in my two minor use cases was of course, you know, reading manga on the device. And for that, let's open up the Shonen Jump. Now, I left it here on the demo page just so you can see the full color graphics here, which are really cool. Now, I'm not actively reading it now, but as they have the whole Dragon Ball Saiyan arc in color, I figured, you know, let's open that up and take a look at those color pages. Just to demo that this color eating screen really works well for color manga. It just is really cool. You know, those muted tones work perfectly fine for manga. And what I found was that if you like this landscape layout, this size works, you know, pretty well. Now, if I pick up a full manga volume here, you'll see that the Ultra Shab C is a bit smaller than a full two-page spread in a manga volume. Now, that doesn't really bother me. I found that with a two-page spread, it is still perfectly readable. Let's go to a more traditional black and white manga for a demonstration. Uh, this Bakuman is what I am reading now, so let's just open something up, see where it takes us. And you can see here, even with this uh, more wordy manga, it is still pretty legible at this size. The main limitation for me is that I don't really like reading manga on a digital device like this. I prefer the portrait orientation, at which point, if you do flip it, it just becomes a little bit too big and uncomfortable for me. Once again, I'd prefer a device closer to the iPad mini, you know, a seven inch size. But once again, I was just hoping that, you know, this would be kind of a extra bonus feature of the Ultra Tab C, with my main hope being Tana. So let's jump over to Tana and see that in practice. Now, there isn't a native Tana app for Android, but you know, it is just an app that runs fully in the browser. And so I've just created a little browser link here that opens up Tana in the default web browser. And as you can see, you know, it looks pretty decent. I've got the full Tana experience. Now, as initially encouraging as this was for me, you know, seeing all of Tana right here on an e ink display that I could really, you know, just, you know, focus on and just dive into my thoughts and really create something awesome with it, that ended pretty quickly. Mainly that was because there are these just little details in Tana, these little, you know, graphic indicators of things that just for some reason do not load up properly on the Ultra Tab C. Now, an example of this is this bullet point right here next to the agenda. You see there's just a dot. Now, this is a node with items indented underneath it. Now, on the web browser, there would be that dot with a larger circle of a lighter shade of color around it. Now that just does not render properly on the color ink display. So I have to actually click on it to see something nested. And it takes a little bit to load up, but once it does, I have everything I need there. Or do I? Not quite, because you'll see all these lines with giant spaces before them are actually tasks, as you can see here. Now, it's really disappointing that the task tag doesn't have a green highlight around it, even if it is a faint green. Now, a real significant limitation of this is just the lack of displaying checkboxes before my task tag. Now, of course, you know, in my tonograph, I have tasks color coded green, which means there should be a green border around this task, but that not showing up there is not, you know, that big of a deal. It's a nice little benefit, but I can live without it. I really can't live without the checkboxes here because, you know, if I click it, Oh look, a checkbox appears, but it's an empty checkbox. Or is it? If I open up my computer, that task was actually just checked off and marked as completed. Whereas now, if I click on this line below it and just select something in mid-text, the checkbox disappears, but there is no depiction on the Ultra Tab C that I had completed the task listed right before it. And that is a major limitation in my system. Other little nuances and things that I was really hoping for is say this node down here, new line, it's really cool that there is a keyboard that I can take around with me, but I found that I'm just not very good at typing on this. I think it might have something to do with this lip down here that is slightly raised compared to the rest of the keyboard. I keep on, you know, tapping that when I think I'm tapping the space bar or something like that, but it just really isn't working for me. And that is a bit of a frustration. The other thing that I found is that while the typing experience is limited, what is a bigger deal is the touch experience here. I'm so used to iOS being so responsive that going quickly back and forth between this and then just moving up here to select a different node 
it, it, it just doesn't feel as responsive as I would like it for something that I'm really diving into and you know, working through my thoughts. Those two things, first, the lack of the indicator icon that there are, you know, nested nodes below one node that are collapsed, and then also the fact that checkboxes do not appear on the Alter Tab C made instantly the Alter Tab C a non-starter for me for using Fatana. And to be frank, that was a bit of a disappointment. The Readwise Reader and the manga reading experience on it weren't ideal for my personal use case, but they were good enough I was really ready to jump fully into it and get rid of the iPad mini and just, you know, use an ink display so I could, you know, be a little bit more relaxed in the evening. But at this point, with Tana not working for me right out of the box, it just isn't worth it for me to keep this. However, that isn't to say that the Altered Tab C isn't a cool device or isn't possibly something that you should consider. I'm not a big Obsidian user, but if you are, this might be something that you definitely want to check out. The experience there might be better, you know, with the whole native Android app and stuff like that. Even if I didn't care about those things, there are just other areas of using Tana on the Alter Tab C that don't really work for me. And largely it comes down to responsiveness. I think this might have something to do with the memory available on the device and just the speed of the processor itself. Because, you know, my Tana graph is pretty large and it, it takes a while to load up. And what I found is that switching between different views that have a whole bunch of nodes nested on them, it just, it, it takes some time. Enough time that it's a frustration for me and I know myself I'll get easily annoyed at that and I'll just not end up using it for its use case. All that said, the Ultra Tab C is really, really cool. And Color E-Ink is something that I am definitely excited about and something that I definitely want to check out in the future as it is further and further improved. Now, obviously this review was very simplistic and focused only on my specific use cases. That is using Readwise Reader, reading manga on it, and then of course using Tana. Now, the first two experiences were good, not great for my particular use cases, but they may be for yours. The last though was the most important to me and as that didn't work, it was a non-starter. However, if you are interested in the Ultra Tab C for other purposes, definitely give it a thought because there is a lot cool going on here. Just because my particular very niche use case didn't really work, doesn't mean you shouldn't give it a go. The web in general works fairly well on it. And while I wouldn't be watching YouTube videos on this, I definitely could see using it as for some light browsing. For me personally, I just think that the iPad is a better fit, even if it means that I'll just have to, you know, get a bit more disciplined and learn not to check my email while laying in bed reading manga. Tough, I guess. Till next time. Bye. <sighs> no, let's erase that section. No, 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 no. <sighs> See what I did there? No. Oh, I don't have nowhere to begin. Well, let's begin by pressing record here. Okay, let's do this.